Hello everyone, my name is Eduardo Lamon and I'm a researcher at the Department of Information Engineering and Computer Science at the University of Trento. Today I will present my research for Word Package 2.7 of Fair 2, focused on the development of a sustainable and affordable telehealth solution with collaborative robotic technologies. Motivated by the presence of many limitations on an efficient delivery of health treatments in remote areas and by the recent success of teleoperative surgery and telepresence systems, we developed a telehealth framework for non-invasive examination which required physical interaction of the doctor with the patient, such as ultrasound or palpations. The system is divided into main sites. At the patient side, we have a collaborative robot, the follower, endowed with forced stroke sensing and the tool for the physical examination. The robot can move autonomously or can be teleoperated remotely by a physician by means of a haptic interface, the leader. The haptic interface sends the desired pose to the follower and renders to the operator the sense of touch of the robot with the environment, which in this case is the patient's body, through its force feedback. An RGBD camera, fixed or mounted at the robot and effector, monitors the route action and broadcasts information to the phys physician graphical user interface, which consists, alternatively, of a standard video or a virtual reality interface that replicates the patient's environment. As end effector tools, we integrated different ultrasound probes and 3D printed indenters for the palpation exams. While some issues are shared with standard health system, such as delay and haptic rendering, the framework involves also new technical challenges. The first challenge consists in the safety of the exam due to the interaction of the robot with the patient's body. The idea here is to be able to regulate the amount of forces exerted by the robot on the body, depending on its viscoelastic properties. In this way, it will be possible to regulate the amount of penetration in the body and distinguish between stiffer parts, such as bones, and softer, such as abdominal organs. So far, this was the main research direction of our studies, where we validated a new viscoelastic model for soft materials, tested with different online estimation methods, and investigated its capability in force reconstruction with different indenter tip shapes and soft materials. The results demonstrated that our model can accurately track the measured force and at the same time estimate the viscoelastic properties of the material once the best indenter shape is selected. With such digital twin of the patient, we investigate the possibility to recognize the presence of tumors through robotic palpations. We tested our model with silicon samples, whose viscoelasticity can be compared to some human body soft tissues, with and without harder intrusions, which represent the foreign masses. The results demonstrate the capability of the model to capture the presence of the intrusions and localize them in the sample. Then, such estimation method has been integrated in a variable impedance controller, where the amount of force exerted by the robot is regulated according to the presence of a soft or a stiff material, in order to ensure a safe and passive behavior in physical interaction. Compared to standard approaches, such as impedance controller with constant gains or force control, our approach ensures lower tracking error, force boundness, and safe interaction thanks to the presence of the passive constraints, which ensure that in a desired interaction, the stiffness is reduced to its minimum value. Together with such physical intelligence, in the future, we would like to focus also on the aspects related to the usability of the technology by non-experts and the integration of semi-autonomous modes to assist practitioners and facilitate exams and diagnosis. Thank you for listening.